Moving on to our alum of the week, we meet an individual who has taken on an entirely different career path, but the time he spent at GTV helped pave the way for him to pursue his career as a live performer. Uh, my name is Colin Murphy, and I uh, graduated from Gonzaga University in uh, 2007. This GUTV alum has combined his background in broadcasting and his passion for comedy to find himself living out his dream. Ever since I was a little kid, I enjoyed making people laugh, making uh, my family. I come from a big family. I'm one of five, and uh, I always enjoyed making them laugh. And uh, I, don't, I don't think I really was able to find a pathway to hopefully making a career out of that until I got to Gonzaga, got involved with, obviously, the broadcasting department and also the theater department uh, through Guts. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm living in L.A. I've been down in L.A. for almost eight years. Uh, I perform at two uh, great theaters here in L.A., uh, the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater, and then the Groundlings Theater. Uh, recently, a few months ago, I got added to their Sunday company, and the Groundlings Theater is a very famous theater. It's been around since the 70s, and uh, so I just feel so lucky, lucky to get to perform there. Well, I've had a, I've had a few really uh, fun scenes that I've done. One that sticks out is a scene called uh, Trick or Treat that I perform with a friend of mine named Sheila Carrasco. Mom, 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 what are you what? doing, mom? No, I want to say that. Mom, mom, mom. No. Trick or treat! <laughs> Hopefully if you write something and you perform something really fun, uh, you get those laughs and the laughs always feel great. I've been performing a lot, which is, is that alone is just, uh, you know, I'm so passionate about, about doing that. Uh, I've always wanted, uh, you know, performing comedy to be a part of my life. And so moving forward, I'm just trying to give myself as many opportunities to, to do that, you know, trying to... Colin it. said the most important skill he learned at GUTV was the ability to write. I remember Dan Garrity being one of the first people that really gave me an opportunity and pushed me to, to write. Uh, even to this day, as an adult, when I'm writing or when I'm performing, in the back of my head, I can still hear Dan saying, you know, when you go for it, uh, things go really well for you, Colin. And I still hear that right before I run on stage sometimes, uh, that, you know, if I just go for it, um, that's the best opportunity I'll have to be successful. So, uh, yeah, and, uh, that meant a lot to me. So. For me, I think working in the uh, DUTV program, it made me realize how much I enjoyed writing and uh, performing comedy. And I felt like, I knew that that was always going to be what I loved more than, uh, you know, maybe doing the reporting side, that sort of thing. Leave that up to the, uh, the professionals. I'll be a goofball instead. It made $47,026,828.44. Million this goofball even does an impression of our very own Professor Dan Garrity. He was like, he had this like obsession with being like, we don't shoot film, we shoot videotape. We don't shoot film, we shoot videotape. And uh, I remember his you know, fiery red bald head just getting so angry about that. And uh, yeah, so I, I think uh, I'll, I'll have that, uh, that sweet bald headed man ingrained in my memory for a long, long time. It's pretty awesome how somebody can nail an impression of Professor Dan almost 10 years since graduation. Prior to this interview, Colin came from an audition with Pixar. We wish him the best of luck as he continues to follow his dreams.